Hello, this is Ruth, and today I have issue 4 of the official Tonic Studios magazine. It's always a very exciting day when this comes out, so this is being launched as part of the birthday week celebrations, and I have my copy in advance just to give you a little preview through that. So if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I'd love you to do that, and you could hit the notification bell, and that way you'll get a little notification when my next video with this magazine comes up, because Today I'm just going to give you a quick preview and a little flick through, not everything. I'm going to show you what's included in it, but while I was making the cards and things for my commission in this magazine, uh, back in May I think that was, I actually did a little video as well of some of the making up processes. So just to help you through not only following the instructions in the magazine, but to give you a little video of how some of those were done as well. You can follow that mag that um, video as well. So, without further ado, this is the box that it comes in, and I'll open it up and show you in a moment or two. But if you just turn this over, you'll see that on the back of it here, there's some card that actually I think that paper is exactly the same as some that's inside, and you can use that as well. But don't throw away your packaging because I'm sure you'll find good use for that and it's very sturdy because it's the box card as well. So I'll open this up and show you what's inside. I'm going to give you a quick flick through the papers that are in this first of all. Um, I know you can't wait to get through the magazine but once you open your pack you'll find that you've got all these beautiful papers here and there are 14 step-by-step -step makes in here, 13 incredible pr uh, projects and you'll be able to make all of them with these beautiful papers. So they're very, very thick, good quality, and you can see there that they're double-sided. So I've laid them out so that you can see one of each pattern. And that's the one that I did show you earlier that's on the uh, back of the box as well. So aren't those just gorgeous? But I think most of all, the quality is what strikes me in these. Every time this magazine comes out, I'm just impressed by not only the quality of the magazine itself, but by the gift that comes with it. So there you are, and those absolutely beautiful. There are also two sheets of toppers. So we've got all of these with sentiments. You can see those are foiled on one side, and then you've got other ones on the other side, and they're not foiled. So you can take your pick what you want to use there. Well, I'll pop those aside and just lift out the dies. So here are the dies. Now these are actually on some acetate as well, but they're on a, a magnetic sheet. So you can just take them off the, the acetate, put them onto the magnetic sheet and then pop them into one of your folders and keep them safe. So I've just checked in the magazine itself because I didn't want to have to count all of those, but there are 44 different dies in that set. Isn't that amazing? So you've got this one and uh, you'll see some of the things that I've made with that. But that's the outside one and then there are different layering snowflakes inside that and then right down to tiny stars here and there are some little um, some little word dies as well there and then this one which I absolutely loved which makes a lovely rosette so you can shorten that or you can use this as a border there's so many different things you can do with that and then these ones which are baubles and we've got the outside and then you can use the insides in different combinations so 44 different dies and then we have a set of stamps to coordinate with those. And there they are. Uh, let me just take them out too. I think you should be able to see them better there. So, baubles, Christmas wishes, tis the season, merry and bright, and some little stars and snowflakes. Loads of uses for those over the Christmas period, whenever you're making your, your lovely Christmas cards and decorations. And then we have this stencil as well. So you can see there, there's a beautiful snowflake edge on it, and then a star part, uh, lovely snowflakes here, and some Christmas baubles. That could be used with inks, or different mousses, or in any way that you like, and you can use it on your cards, or for different home decor at, the, at um, Christmas time as well. Now, at the start of the magazine, you're going to get a little quick preview and a little introduction to some of the people that uh, that we work with and who design these lovely products and who make everything a lot easier and run smoothly at Tonic. So that's always nice to catch up with those folks. And then we've got what's in the box. So that is a 
series of photographs of the things that I've just shown you and there's one of my cards there. Now as I said I'm not going to go through all of this but you can see here um, lots of the things that are in it and I've had a quick flick through because uh, I just wanted to see what everyone else had made because I always think it's really fascinating to see how so many people can be sent this die set and make so many different things with it and then whenever you get it you'll come up with ideas of your own and I, I just think that's amazing that one set of products can inspire so many different creations. So you can see here that it's not only cards, there's home decor, there's all sorts of things and one of the other things that's so good about this magazine is that you get a little preview of some of the upcoming launches as well um, and a little sneaky peek at a few things. So first of all there's a beginner's guide and Karen has done this and shown you all of the dies and oh there's my card again um, and it will show you lots of ways that you can use these but the, the different ways that you can assemble these die cuts together to make them not only two-dimensional but three-dimensional projects at the end of it and then here are some different things that you need to go along with it or that you can use. And there's a beautiful three-dimensional card by Leo, uh, an upcoming make, uh, some more Christmas cards. I'll just flick through this. As I say, I don't want to spoil your fun, but here is uh, one of the cards that I made for the, the magazine. And uh, you can see that I've used the, the main snowflake die and I've layered this all up and made a lovely shaker card with it. And all the... Uh, things that you'll need are there and there are all the instructions but as I said before if you find that when you get this you'd rather watch a video don't forget to nip over and uh, watch the next video and that was oh isn't that lovely see I get carried away when I go through this so many lovely things but don't forget to watch that video and you'll see different things on it as well uh, I'm just going to show you I think I noticed something really beautiful here See, that caught my eye. It's made by Christine and it's a lot of home decor and table settings, but the colours just grabbed me on that one as well. So don't think that you've got to stick to your magazine uh, papers with this as well, because uh, they are finite. They will be used up, but your dyes will go on and on forever. I'm sure there's a, a song that would go with that, but anyhow. I just want to show you this little card as well. You'll probably see this in my video. I can't remember because it's a few months ago, but I think I may have uh, shown how to make this as well. It's a totally different one to here. I was doing a similar background and then I really loved this um, die here and I was enjoying making the rosette. So I popped that on top, but then I changed my mind and I thought I would go ahead with the shaker one for my uh, commission that you can see here but there's the one with the rosette and I've made the snowflake card with it as well. There's the rosette that you could add on to all sorts of things and I love that border with that but I also loved how you could snip that down and make it smaller as well so that could go on a card, could be used on a gift tag or all sorts of things. Anyhow, for now that's the magazine, that's all I'm going to show you at the minute but do come back watch the next video and don't forget to leave me a little comment down below and uh, my affiliate links to the magazine will be down below in the description of the video and thank you very very much for everyone who has been using those especially over birthday week because that means a lot to me um, I haven't actually been making a lot of things for a couple of reasons at the moment but I've had a little injury um, well maybe not so little but I haven't actually been creating things just so often at the moment so I do appreciate everyone who has bought through my links. Thanks very much and I'll be back to see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.